a friend of mine. He came to me once and he told me he, he done something very good for me and he helped me. But on top of that, he was helping me very much with, with my children. So I told him that to that person, I told him, I appreciate you very much. But how much that I appreciate you on helping my children is, is way, way higher. It's much more. And think about it. You can keep the all mitzvot for yourself to do many things for Hashem, to wake, wake up every morning very early and to pray and to wash your hands and to say all of the blessings, the brachot, and to pray long Shmona Yisra and to have your intention in all of the blessings and to do everything perfect, to buy only Chalav Yisrael and only Mehadrin meat and everything perfect and even be chassid and guard your eyes and sit all day long in shul and learn only Gemara and don't have no internet and nothing and... You won't see my classes, but okay, you're going to manage, you're going to continue, you're going to be okay. Okay, let's say so. That's one Jew that you save yourself. But if you're going to open your eyes, and you're going to go a little bit outside of shul, and you're going to meet people at work, and you're going to give right advice to people and to friends, and in the grocery, you're going to help people, the grocery store, you're going to help some people with their bags, and you're going to be nice to people, and you're going to help some people, and people that will need your help, you're going to provide as much as you can. So how many Jews you help? How many people you save? Thousands. And the truth is that you cannot count. There is no amount that you can count the good deeds and good actions. And it's written in the Bible. It's written in the Torah Kedosha. But we misinterpret because we don't count on ourselves, because we don't believe in ourselves. So this is why we don't understand the real truth of the Bible as well, of Judaism as well. Because the Torah is telling you that the mitzvot between friends, between people, are much more important to Hashem himself than mitzvot between a person to, to God. What did you do with your friends, helping them, supporting them, giving them the right advice, being nice to them, to them smiling to people, the Gemara is saying that it's more precious than to give charity. On charity, it's, it's written on charity, that if you gave charity, so that charity saves souls, saves people from death. It's very good to give charity, right? Wonderful. But to smile to a person is greater than that is more important than to give charity. Okay, so give me a smile. <laughs> you see? How much you achieve now? And you keep the money in your pocket. <laughs> so perfect. Malbin Shinai Mechalab, why? Because now you gave milk to that person. Great, he needed that milk. He needed $10, $20. $1,000, you paid his rent, you paid his mortgage, you did something fantastic, something huge, you made wonders with that person. In the moment that you finish giving him that money, that's where the mitzvah finished. That's it. But on charity, that is spiritual charity, like Zikwe Rabim, helping people to come back to Hashem, to encourage people, to teach, to inspire people, to serve Hashem, to smile to people. On that it's written, Tzidkato Medet Lad. That's an eternal charity that will stand for you forever, for good. Why? Because when you smile to that person, you don't know what you did with that smile. You might even save to that person's life with that smile that you smile to him. Because he was so down in that day. He was so broken in that day. People are coming to me on daily basis and telling me, you don't know one class of yours that I heard changed my life.